guys, it's Kevin again, and this is going to be my review for pre Liars Season 4, Episode 20, Free Fall. And I was really looking forward to this episode. I haven't been ex this excited for a pre Liars episode in a very long time. I definitely think ABC Family did a really great job hyping up the promo, really getting excited for the episode. Honestly, I had this feeling that since my expectations were so high, it was going to be a letdown because ABC Family is a very big tendency to overhype things and say, oh, this is going to be a big, big, big episode and it's not as big as we all thought. Nope, that was not the case with this episode. This episode was huge. Um, there was so much stuff to talk about in this episode. And you know what I really liked about this episode? It mainly is just focusing on Arya and Spencer, which is good because I don't care about Emily's plot. I don't care about Anna's plot. I just, I don't give a shit about their plots because... Honestly, they're boring. They are. They're boring. Um, I'm not saying the characters themselves are boring. It's just the plots that they're in are boring. However, this episode was amazing. By far the best episode of the season. Um, I just thought it was a perfect episode. Um, let's just get to it. Uh, so this episode, of course, was about uh, Spencer. You know, she we see her waking up um, in class for some reason. And... Um, we don't really know why she's waking up or what she's there for, um, but she's there for some reason. And we don't really know why, um, but Ezra tells her, you know, she's slacking on grades and everything, and then she leaves. So Ezra actually confronts Ari about her slacking on grades, and we all know it's because of the pills and her staying up late to get fix, uh, get more information about Ezra. And she's can um try contemplating whether or not to tell Arya that um Ezra is a. She is pretty much determined to. Emily says no, you should not do it. Arya will hate us if we do it. And uh, Spencer tries to hold back. She really does. Um, there's even this. There's this really amazing scene. I gotta say, um, actress who plays Spencer. I don't know her name, but she gave an amazing performance this episode. As did Lucy Hale. I know her name. I just I can't think of um I can't think of Spencer's name right now. I think it's um I think her name starts with a T. Uh, Tro Trojan Trojan maybe I don't know. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. Um, I can't hear my name right now, I'm sorry guys, but that's, there was one really great scene in the beginning where she's, um, basically completely frozen, she has on, um, not frozen, but like her, she's completely frozen, she doesn't want to move or anything, because she's so terrified to tell everyone, and she has on a sweat, she doesn't even, like, definitely the, the way they did, you know, like, her makeup and clothes and everything, she looked very disheveled in this episode, which was good because that was what Spencer was supposed to look like in this episode. So, I really enjoyed that scene. I thought that was really good. And after this, eventually she just, it just comes out, um, she tells Arya that Ezra's A and Ezra was the one who had the board shorts and everything. She she tells Arya about that. And Arya first is like, no, 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 no. You, you're not telling the truth. I know you're just saying this. But then Arya does believe her. But Arya at first doesn't. She at first goes to Ezra just to see if he is actually, you know, if Spencer is actually uh, correct about this. Because I don't think it was, necessar it was necessarily that Arya thought she was wrong. I think she thought maybe she might have had things mi mixed up a little bit. So she goes over to um, Ezra and uh, she finds, she starts to get very suspicious about things. Because she talks about the things that Spencer found and he said, um, and he says, wait, how did she know about that? And then Arya asks him, wait, how did you know about that? And he said, oh, I just, I just heard about that. That. Um, and he goes on like all this bullshit about that, which um, was a very big scene again. Just big scene after big scene in this episode. Really, really great. Really great stuff, I think. Um, after this, though, we do get another really amazing scene because at the same time, we also still have, of course, the A thing. You know, we still we still have the A thing. So with um with A, what's happening there is that um they still think that Ezra's A. So. Emily goes over to um, Ezra, who is um, eating or something. She breaks all these plates, and it was all a setup. She calls 
and he thinks that they're talking about Alice and real, um, Allie, but really it's all a setup just to get A to confront them, which I thought this was an amazing plan. So they decide to meet at a zoo, and they're going to basically see if A shows up at the zoo. So they wait there, and that's the plan, basically. They want to do that. Also, at the same time, Spencer's also having problems with her, with her mother. Her mother is not really, um on her good side right now. Her mother can definitely tell there's something up with her, and her mother actually gets the call from the doctor about setting up a doctor's appointment for her because she knows she's uh, going She's going insane. I mean, she doesn't know what's going on with her daughter. All she knows is that she is going completely batshit crazy. She really is. Um, Although, if you want to see batshit, you might have to see next week's episode because there's one other character who does that in this episode uh, at the very end, and we'll get to that. Ari eventually, though, she does end up looking in a book, uh, and she finds all these papers all about Allie, and they're all from Ezra, because she opened up this book, and it was supposedly supposed to be something from school. That's what it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be, like, some sort of assignment he um, assigned them, and instead, it's all these different papers, and they all have to do with Allie, and it says things like, I got all this information about Allison, and she starts to get very, very suspicious, and she becomes, to the point where she becomes terrified of Ezra, and when I say terrified, I mean terrified, like, terrified, scared of her mind, and here is where the episode, I mean, it was already really intense, but it got even more intense here, and, um, after this happens, though, uh, then we see, you know, what, what ends up happening is she is chased by Ezra until they go to, like, this, uh, this carnival. It's very dark also. I love how dark it was, you know, complete darkness. That definitely made it creepy. I mean, Pretty Little Liars can be creepy. This was a creepy episode because also at the same time, when this was really amazing, they're actually found in, when they're in the zoo, uh, Hannah, Emily, and Spencer are in the zoo, they're actually found, and, um, it did not work. The plan did not work out for them, so we still have no idea who A is. Again, of course, I didn't think we would because because we're only in episode 20, we have like four more episodes to go till the finale, so, which by the way, I can't believe we're already there, we only have like three episodes left, um, but after this, she finds out more about Ezra, now, it's not exactly what she thinks, Ezra tells her specifically, I never tried to kill Allie, but she does not believe him at this point, all he tells her, which I think he might possibly be lying about this, is he says, I was writing a book about her, I met her, I was going to write a book about her, that's all I was going to do, just write a book about her, and that was it. And honestly, I did not believe him for a second. I thought that, I definitely think, because there is something that he does not want her to see, she says, no, 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 I am looking at every single page of that journal, and by the way, Lucy Hill's performance in this scene blew my mind. I mean, definitely, she was amazing in this scene. To anyone who says that Pretty Little Liars has bad acting, probably because it's been boring the past few episodes, this really stepped all of that up, because th these two, Spencer, the girl who plays Spencer, and Lucy Hale gave an amazing performances in this episode, and um, she says, I don't care what you have to say, I, I don't care what you're going to say to me, um, how could you lie to me about all this, I don't believe a word you say, and she says, I can never, I don't even know who you are, and she's really upset about it, and, um, she basically, she tries to grab the papers from him, but they all end up falling on the floor, scattered everywhere, and we don't really know what happened to those papers. We really don't, don't know. So, that's how it ended with, um, Arya. So, we don't really know what happened with Ezra. In my personal opinion, I think he's hiding something that he does not want her to know. It's pretty obvious that he's hiding something, because he told her specifically, no, I do not want you to look at that. And we don't know why, but for some reason he told her that, and we really do not know why. Um, so that's what, it, that was basically the story of that. That's what happened there. But that was not the end of the episode, because after that we did get something with Spencer, which was pretty big. Um, Toby was there also. By the way, very cute Spoby scenes in this episode. I do really like Spencer and Toby together. Um, Spoby, they're a good pair, I think. And... Um, Spencer's mom comes and she says, I can't believe what you're doing. And she's so upset at her because she knows she's probably overdosing or something like that. She just knows she's going crazy and she knows she has to take her to a doctor. And she says, I don't know why I have to keep doing this again. I don't know why and I really don't want to do this any anymore. 
And she's really upset at her, which she does have a right to be, because, let's face it, Spencer's going nuts. Although, if anyone's going nuts, it's Arya, because Arya's looking in this book that Ezra gave her, and it was actually like a, um, like, he gave her this book that said, if you ever want to get out of Rosewood, um, you can. And she throws the book because she's so furious at him. And, um, then we see... And then just to end the episode off on a great note, I love the way they end it, we see A, um, he is picking up the papers, and he's putting them all back, um, he's, somehow he want he wants something with papers, and that's how the episode ended. And I gotta say, it was an amazing episode. Now, there is one other thing that we have to talk about, Mike and Mona, very briefly. Uh, we did get a little bit more of Mike and Mona's relationship. They're actually a very sweet couple, I gotta say. Um, I don't find them creepy or anything. I actually find them very genuine and very loving. Um, although we did see that Mike cannot say I love you to Mona. He took her to this silent movie, though. It was it was pretty cute. Um, and I, I like the scene where she wasn't really paying attention to the movie. And he said, oh, it's just about a guy who, you know, becomes crazy and acts crazy the whole movie. That was a funny line. I think they're a nice couple together. I, I think they are. I know a lot of people think they're creepy and everything. I don't think that at all. I think they're actually a pretty nice couple. So overall, I loved this episode. Definitely, this gets my highest rating. 10 out of 10, definitely for this episode. Best episode of the season. Um, a couple things that we still do not know. We still do not know why Ezra does not want her to look. Now, me personally, I think Ezra's lying about this. I think Ezra really is A and he's not telling her because... Think about this. Why would Ezra not want to look? Why would Ezra not want her to look in it? Now he did tell her that he loved her. He did tell her that. But he could just be saying that just to, you know, get her on his side. Which clearly she's not because she's gonna have this whole fit next week where she's gonna like destroy a whole bunch of stuff. It's gonna be amazing. Um, and I really love how intense this show is getting. And here was a problem with the show before. They should have done this. Um, you know episodes ago. I mean, definitely, if they would have started, you know, an episode like this, I mean, definitely they need to do this. And I think definitely this was a great episode because it was so amazing and gave great performances. And I'm also wondering, what really does uh, Spencer's mom think? What is the real reason for doing this? What is Spencer's real problem? Obviously, we know she's overdosing on pills, but what's going to happen to Spencer? Do you think she's going to be okay? Do you think she might, like, go unconscious or something? I'm really not sure what's going to happen there. Um, do you think we're going to, you know, do you think Ezra is A, or could someone else be A? Who else could be A at this point? I can't think of anyone else who is A. I can't. So I'm pretty much open to Ezra being A. The only other person who could possibly be A, well, we know it's a guy, so I really don't know. I really don't know who A could be. I don't know who, I, I have no idea. I don't. I have no idea who it could be. And I like that they're keeping us guessing with that, because that's good. But I like that that wasn't the main focus of the episode. The main focus was Arya finding out about Ezra, and um, now all we need is for them to have a confrontation with Ali, and then... Pretty Little Liars will be perfect for me, because that's all I need to see, is a confrontation with Allie, and, um, that's it. Now, I am going to tell you guys one thing. Um, Tuesday nights next week are going to be, are going to start to get crazy, because I'm going to have three shows at 8 o'clock. Glee, Pretty Little Liars, and The Originals. I did not talk about this, but what's going to end up happening is I'm going to watch Glee live, and I'm going to record Pretty Little Liars and The Originals. I'm going to record the encore for Pretty Little Liars, and I'm going to record The Originals, and I'm going to end up watching both of those shows on the DVR. So I will not review those right away. I will watch Glee at 8 o'clock. Um, unfortunately, you know, you guys know me. I, I like Glee. Um, so... Unfortunately, Pretty Little Liars is going to... I'll still... I mean, I'm still reviewing it, but it. I, there's a whole bunch of shows that are going to be on Tuesday nights. It's going to be pretty crazy. But, um, yeah, so overall, again, amazing episode. Really, really loved it. Let me know a couple things about the episode. Uh, do you think that Ezra is actually lying to you, Arya? I would not be surprised if he is. I think Ezra is uh, lying through his teeth to Arya. What does he not want her to see in that journal? Clearly, he does not want... I mean, not journal, but, like, um, the book that he was writing. What does he not want her to see? Um... Should Arya trust him? Definitely no, she should not trust him. Do you like Mike and Mona's relationship? I don't know, I thought they were kind of cute. It was a cute way, it was a cute thing in the episode with all their drama going on. Um, 
What is Spencer's real problem? You know, what do you think is really happening to her? Why is she overdosing on all these pills? Um, did you like the very disheveled tone of Spencer? And again, what do you think of the performances? I thought the performances from Spencer and Aria were great in this episode. But that's it for my review. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye.